Hello, boys and girls. The Golo is one of the longest rivers in Corsica that has many sections on whitewater level 3. In this episode, we look at the uppermost section that falls in this category. Further upriver, there are more difficult sections. The put in is at the Ponte Castilla below the impressive Gala di Santa Regina, and the put out is either at the bridge towards the Casa Luna or in Ponte Leccia. Access to the river at the put in is possible either on the left side, just below the bridge, or upstream on the right up to the power station. The cars should not be parked at the station. The section just above the bridge can be a wild start, so entering just below might be a good option. As the Golo is one of the few rivers in Corsica affected by power generation, this upper section varies in its water level in non-predictive manners. Therefore, it may happen that there is not enough water. A good level is above 1,60 m in Ponte Castella. Right below the bridge there is one more cataract with large boulders to navigate around, but then the river levels out and it flows through the basin. When the water splits it can be difficult to find the best arm and there is always the possibility of having wood, especially in the narrower passages. In my experience, taking the right branches most often works. At the end of such a branch, a hole stretches over most of the river and the best passage is on the left side. The more water there is, the stickier the hole gets. This spot can also be viewed from the road directly at the house above. Golo flows here through a wide valley that is covered by wood. Steeper and shallower sections follow up on each other. Two times the river turns left with increased gradient only to have another turn right again. At higher levels both these S-bands have boulders respectively holes in the outer left side you might want to avoid. Or not. Somewhere the train line from Bastia to Corte crosses over. Afterwards, on the right side, the camping Capita is located, which is a good base camp location for most of the rivers that can be found in the northeast of the island. Should you have set up camp here, this might be a good spot for a break. At the lower end of the camp, the river again splits and flows through trees. Here you first go right and then need to find the right branch to go left again. About 300 meters further down the vacuum cleaner is located. This is a sticky hole embedded in a rock channel uh, with a twist. While it can be tried, most people do not come out as they entered. It can easily be portaged on the right side and put in right at the bottom or even further down. In the following section towards the village Francado there are various rapids, some flowing against walls at a steep angle. Right under the bridge in Francado there is a boulder in the middle that can be inspected from the bridge above. Depending on the water level a passage on the right or the left might be easier. On the left there is gravel which might make the gap between shore and rock a narrow one. Another put in is under the main road bridge. What follows is an interesting section uh, from a scenic as well as a sportive perspective. There are various sections through conglomerate canyons or just on the shore. About 500 meters below the bridge there is a plain rock gap. The water falls down half a meter in a U-band which forms a nasty sticky hole. The best approach is from the right, but it can be tricky to get the nose away from the rock so that you are not sucked back in. Portage on the left side is also easily possible.
there are two more rapids that need special mentioning. The first is one with a big conglomerate boulder in the middle. At low flows this can be tricky as there is only a route on the left. Portage on the right is possible but not convenient. At higher flows a direct route on the right opens up between two rocks in the line. The second comes after the second low canyon. At low levels the easy passage with sufficient water is located on the left while you tend to take a route through the middle at higher flows. Thereafter the gradient diminishes and levels out towards the bridge that leads into the valley of the Casa Luna. This is a good place to finish the sections. The cars can be placed right river along the wall but well away from the gate. Continuing on that road, you come to a cozy little restaurant to counter your famish. You can also continue down to Ponte Leccia. There is one steep corner that is right above the village entrance where the river meets the road. Put out in that case is just below the bridge in the middle of the village. You can find additional information down in the description. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the subscribe button. Until then, goodbye!